Ecuador police rescue 49 kidnapping victims from crime gang. Police in Ecuador say 49 kidnapping victims have been rescued from a crime gang in the south of the country. Two suspected kidnappers were arrested during the raid in a mining region in Azui province. Police said the Los Lobos, the Wolves, crime gang was behind the kidnappings. An earlier statement from the armed forces said 46 people were rescued and five were found killed, four of them dismembered. 49 citizens who were victims of kidnapping in mining areas were released and two people linked to this crime were arrested, Ecuador's police said in a statement. Dynamite, weapons and ammunition were also seized during the raid. More than 20 people opened fire on soldiers during the rescue operation, Ecuador's army said. No one had been hurt, it added. Ecuador has faced a spate of violent crime. President Daniel Noboa has declared states of emergency several times under which military forces patrolled the streets and jails. He also designated 22 crime gangs as terrorist groups. They still fit, Beckham recreate purple wedding look for 25th anniversary. David and Victoria Beckham have recreated their iconic throne wedding scene to celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary. The couple shared photos on Instagram, dressed in the matching purple ensembles they wore as their second outfit on the big day back in 1999. They wrote, look what we found, with David adding in a second post, yep, still got it. Can't believe it's been 25 years and they still fit. The former England footballer and Spice Girl married on July 4, 1999 in Luttrellstown Castle in Ireland, in front of an intimate audience of 29 guests, followed by a massive star-studded bash. One of the recreated photos showed them sitting in the crushed velvet purple thrones that featured on their wedding day and which quickly became part of 90s pop culture history. They had originally worn the satin purple outfits for their first dance, which was to Frank Sinatra's It Had To Be You. Baby Brooklyn, who was just four months old at the time, also had a matching purple suit. Speaking about their purple outfits, which were designed by Antonio Berardi, in their Netflix documentary which was out last year, David seemed keen to distance himself from the decision to wear them. In the series, David said, I'm trying to think back to when I decided to wear a purple suit, and I don't know when that happened. I think I just took Victoria's lead on it, but what were we thinking? Two of the biggest stars of the 90s, the couple first started dating in 1997 and got engaged the following year. The sprawling mansion they moved into on the border of Hertfordshire and Essex was dubbed Beckenham Palace thanks to their royal celebrity status. They have gone on to become somewhat of a brand, with David branching into business after his sporting and modeling career and Victoria creating her own fashion line. The couple have four children together, aspiring photographer and cook Brooklyn, 25-year-old, footballer and model Romeo, 21-year-old, musician and model Cruz, 19-year-old, and their daughter Harper, who is 12-year-old. Lily Allen joins OnlyFans to sell feet pictures. Lily Allen has joined OnlyFans to sell photos of her feet charging subscribers $10 a month. The singer shared a video showing a glimpse of her toes as she perched by the Trevi Fountain in Rome on her Instagram story on Tuesday night. A link labeled La Dolce Fida took followers to her OnlyFans account where the puns continue. Her username is Lily Allen FTSE 500 and her bio reads just dipping my toes in, while a recent post is captioned Soul Trader. OnlyFans is an online platform known for adult content where fans pay creators for their photos and videos. Allen, 39-year-old, first talked about the idea of selling her feet photos on an episode of Miss Me, the podcast she hosts with Makita Oliver. She said her pedicurist told her she had a rare five-star rating on WikiFeet, a site where users rate people's feet. My feet are rated quite highly on the internet. 
She said her pedicurist told her she could make a lot of money selling foot content on OnlyFans, and I'm like, not no dot. Allen also said she had received messages from people asking for foot content after posting photos on Instagram with her feet in view. In the podcast, released on June 17th, she said she was not there yet, but added, I'm not saying no. The first post on her OnlyFans account was posted on June 25th. Former porn actress accuses Combs of sex assault and trafficking. Sean Diddy Combs is reportedly being sued over another allegation of sexual assault and trafficking as sources said he is also now the subject of a criminal investigation. In the latest civil case, a former porn actress is accusing him of forcing her to have sex with a guest at a 2004 party, according to US media. Audrea English alleges Combs also demanded she have sex with guests at other parties he held in New York and Florida. Her lawsuit was filed on Wednesday and alleges he threatened to wreck her career and that of her boyfriend if she didn't agree. Combs faces multiple other sex lawsuits filed in the last year, and the latest claims also follow a video in May showing him attacking ex-girlfriend Cassie. The LA Times said Ms. English's 114-page complaint makes more than 30 allegations, including against the man she was allegedly forced to have sex with and a woman who facilitated the sex trafficking. In a statement to TMZ, Combs's lawyer said, no matter how many lawsuits are filed it won't change the fact that Mr. Combs has never sexually assaulted or sex trafficked anyone. We live in a world where anyone can file a lawsuit for any reason and without any proof. Fortunately, a fair and impartial judicial process exists to find the truth and Mr. Combs is confident he will prevail against these and other baseless claims in court. As well as the civil cases, federal authorities last week informed Combs's legal team he is the subject in a criminal investigation. In the U.S. legal system, his status would be upgraded from subject to target if prosecutors likely intend to seek an indictment from a grand jury against him. It has not been reported what the criminal investigation specifically relates to. In March, Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami were raided by Homeland Security agents investigating the various allegations against him. Cassie, whose full name is Cassandra Ventura, also sued him in November, alleging she was trafficked and raped as well as plied with drugs and beaten over a 10-year period. The lawsuit claimed Diddy forced her to have sex with male prostitutes while he filmed it. Combs has denied all the claims and said his accusers are looking for a quick payday. However, he did apologize for the brutal video of him attacking Cassie, saying he was disgusted by his actions and it happened when he was at rock bottom. <laughs> Koala Cuddles banned at popular Australian sanctuary visited by Taylor Swift and Vladimir Putin. A koala sanctuary in Australia where high-profile guests from Taylor Swift to Vladimir Putin have cuddled koalas has banned hugs with the animals. Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary in Brisbane, Queensland, said it will instead focus on immersive and educational experiences with the koalas. The decision was made in response to increasingly strong visitor feedback from people wanting to spend longer with the animals without holding them, it said. General Manager Lyndon Descombe said there had been a shift towards people wanting to experience Australian wildlife up close, but not necessarily personal. The new koala close-up visits will let people observe the animals eating, sleeping and relaxing without touching. Holding koalas is only legal in the Australian states of Queensland and South Australia everywhere else in the country, touching the animals is more tightly regulated. Lone Pine, which bills itself as the world's first koala sanctuary, says all of its interactions with wildlife are governed by the relevant regulations and the mental, physical and emotional well-being of our animals is top priority in all that we do. Queensland laws on koala encounters dictate that koalas cannot work for more than 30 minutes a day, totaling no more than 180 minutes a week. They cannot be used for photography purposes for more than three days without a day off and female koalas with babies cannot be used for tourist encounters. 
there has been increasing pressure from animal rights groups to stop the practice of cuddling koalas. World Animal Protection has petitioned the Queensland Premier to ban koala encounters, saying they are stressful to the animals and can stop them from getting enough sleep in the wild. Koalas sleep up to 20 hours a day. Man, 64-year-old, accused of upskirting at Taylor Swift concert. A 64-year-old man has appeared in court accused of upskirting a child at one of Taylor Swift's sold-out Edinburgh shows. The American superstar brought the era's tour to the UK and performed at Meafield in the Scottish capital on 7, the 8th and the 9th of June. Andrew Hunter, 64-year-old, was the only person arrested at the rugby stadium during the three shows. He has been accused of voyeurism towards a child aged between 13 and 16 during the event on June 8. Prosecutors allege Hunter operated equipment beneath the youngster's clothing with the intention of enabling him or another person to observe their underwear, genitals or buttocks. Hunter, from Lancashire, made no plea to the charge when he appeared at Edinburgh Sheriff Court on Friday. The suspect has been granted bail with his next court appearance yet to be confirmed. Hundreds of thousands of Swifts fans, known as Swifties, descended on Meafield for the sold-out shows. Fans traveled to Scotland from across the globe to see their idol, including from the US, Canada, Iceland, and Germany. The supporters who braved the ever-changing weather were warmly welcomed to Edinburgh, with the city offering a whole host of Swift-themed treats and events. Swift praised the crowds who attended, saying, You truly blew me away this weekend. During the shows, the award-winning singer-songwriter was supported by American rockers Paramore. The Eras tour is now back in Europe after a pit stop in Liverpool, Cardiff and London, 